Hey everybody, what's up? It's Meepa2 and it has been a crazy few days for me and collecting Pokemon plushies because right now, as you're seeing this, it is actually my birthday. Yes, I am now 23 years old. Very, very old. And still collecting Pokemon plushies. <laughs> but if I do this, you can kind of see a whole bunch of new plushies in my background. That's because I got some gifts from my girlfriend. My girlfriend and I went on a date, made some new ones, bought some new ones. And some of them are actually hers that I'll be doing a big review on in the future. But that's not what it's going to be about today. We actually got one during our date that I want to do a review about. I was thinking about doing the one that she got as well as the one that I got together and just kind of doing it in one little video. However, I feel like they should both have their own individual ones. And that one that I got being Foy Coco. Now, if you know me personally, you probably know that I am a big fan of Foy Coco. He is such a dorky little guy. I knew I was going to be picking him from the start of Scarlet and Violet. And the fact that they made a Build-A-Bear of him, I am super excited about. My girlfriend does have Sprigatito, which whenever they actually make a Quaxley video, I'll do my usual Quaxley, Sprigatito, and Foy Coco, the trio video all together. However, I do think that this guy is absolutely amazing. Now, I got him very, very stuffed. As you can see, he is quite a huge boy. And he's even bigger than, like, the likes of Munchlax, which I think is insane. But it is super cool to have him in the collection now. I am so glad to actually get him, add him to the collection, because I had actually been putting down grabbing him for a little while now. So the fact that I finally got to grab him on my birthday, nonetheless, it was very, very cool. So I am happy to announce the Fly Coco Build-A-Bear. Now I'm just gonna kind of do a little run around while I'm talking about him. Yes, this is one of my recent favorite starters that I've seen. <laughs> And he looks absolutely adorable as a Build-A-Bear. It took us a lot longer than normal to get him stuffed. Like, the person that was doing the stuffing compared him to the Jumbo, like, Devil Bear or Jumbo Longhorn kind of ones that they have. So the fact that he took this long and he's just a normal size plushie is insane to me. He is so freaking cute, though. As you can see, the face is a very ordinary face. It seems very similar to the GameStop plushie that I actually have of him, which I do not have. I have the Pokemon Center somewhere in my collection down over there but i do think that he looks absolutely adorable and i am super happy to have him here we have the felt little are these supposed to be like hair tufts i don't really know exactly hair tufts or something like that maybe well i prom um i personally don't know and then one part that i do like however i would have been okay with like a black one as well is the build a bear logo right here being the color that matches for coco because i I like it. However, I do think it'd be a little bit better if it was right here, right here, or maybe even like right here on the tail or something like some of the other ones have, like some of the other ones that I'll be showing you pretty soon. However, I it's okay. It's whatever. I just kind of wish we could go ahead a little bit further down because I feel like that'd be a little bit better because now whenever you see him doing this, the first thing that always comes to mind is, of course, the Build-A-Bear tag. But this guy is so freaking cute. He has one little tooth that's actually sewn on in here. It's made out of felt, so different material from the whole thing. It's kind of an off-white compared to the regular off-white that they have over here. But, I mean, it matches pretty decent enough. It's different colors, technically. This one's a little bit lighter. However, it works pretty well. The eyes sewn on look absolutely gorgeous he's just a little guy he looks like his brain is empty and there's nothing in his head my favorite part honestly about him is whatever material they use right here for his feet and down here it is so comfy i really like how this feels it's honestly a really good pattern whatever they put it on there and honestly i prefer it more than just the normal fabric that you would see right here he has his little belly tag on here it's a very simple plushie to have however i think he looks very very cute we, of course, got the little ones right here. And I actually got him really, really stuffed just because I think him being bigger and bloated is probably the best thing to do with him. And he's at least a little bit cuddly, so you can still cuddle him, but he is a lot harder than you would probably see him normally be. And I think that works. I think it's okay that he's that big. But I do really, really enjoy how he looks. The stitching looks really well. You can't really notice too much of the stitching until you actually get from right here down to right here is whenever the actual stitching pattern seems to be showing up. But like the stitching right here going through, not really as noticeable. I guess my Foy Coco's tooth and the felt they cut for it is a little uneven, which I mean, it's okay. He has a little dented tooth. It doesn't matter very much. 
but I do really enjoy how he looks. It's a very simple plushie and a very simple Build-A-Bear, but honestly, it might be one of my favorite Build-A-Bears that I've actually gotten as of late, just because it is a simple guy and it is a Pokemon that I really, really enjoy. So the fact that I was able to actually get him looks so freaking cute. And I am glad that I got him because I'm pretty sure Bidoof is going out pretty soon. And as Ryolu comes in, he's probably gonna be gone. And then I think Fue Coco is gonna be the next one gone after that. So I was able to get him, not last minute, but definitely, shorter end of his lifespan probably in the actual Build-A-Bear stores. Also, sorry if you saw my camera kind of flipping up. I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> but I do think that this guy is absolutely gorgeous. Such a cute little plushie and I'm super happy to have him into my collection. As well as that, he also has his tag still on here. Of course, we have the P2 for P2 on there. We have his normal Pokemon tag where if you flip it, it has, actually, what happens if you flip it? It has nothing on the back. <laughs> just a very simple one. However, this tag is also just the Fue Coco Build-A-Bear Workshop 1. It's very cool that they actually kept the tags on this time because half of the time they actually cut off the tags. So I feel like whatever they did this time, I really appreciate that. But yeah, definitely a shorter video showing him off. I am super excited that I have him in my actual collection. He's probably going to be sitting right over here next to Totodile because I feel like they'd be the best together. So Totodile Build-A-Bear win? I'm still waiting for that day. That's going to be amazing. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, very simple plush. So it's going to be definitely a faster video than normal. Thank you guys for watching. Super excited that I actually got to celebrate my birthday with y'all and show off one of the birthday presents that I kind of got on a date night with my beautiful girlfriend. And we have a bunch of new plushie stuff coming out. I know it's Unova month, but some of the stuff's not going to be really Unova related. That's okay. It's just Unova month is going to be the celebration of Unova. However, we will have some other stuff. And then maybe some of that stuff will be moved over to December and we'll do some December videos because I don't really have an exact like December, like Christmas special besides the usual just Christmas special we do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.